Hey guys, this is Madam Ryder, and this is my very first Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. Now, I personally have never played Final Fantasy X. Not that I didn't want to, but I never actually owned the game, and I never had a PS2 until it became secondhand. I, I was the youngest sister, so... I had got all the I got all the systems after everybody else was done with them. And on top of that, the PS2 was pretty much just hunk of junk by the time I got it and refused to work. <laughs> sadly, half the time. But um so I'm really excited about to do this let's play. Now, I wouldn't exactly call it a blind let's play because I know the story pretty much by heart because I love stories and my friend has this game and she played it a lot when I was over there but I never wanted to start up a game because I could only get through like a few hours of gameplay before I'd have to go home so I'll try not to talk during cutscenes but I really hope y'all enjoy my first let's play Fantasy 10. Aww. So freaking excited about this. <sighs> because the expert sphere grid is with this new version. I am going to go with that. I know it's not like. I know I haven't ever played, and so, but I do know that the expert grid sphere has some differences that from the standard, and it's not like the original. So I'm going with that bad boy. Yes, it is. Right. That sword is just so freaking badass. It kind of reminds me of that that one rainbow sword that they have in Halo. I don't know what it's called. I just I just know it's, it's a rainbow sword and it's awesome. <laughs> And I already know all the characters because of my interest in knowing the story and plotline and all that, so... And already, like, I can tell major differences between the original and this HD remaster. They did a, a great job on it, and I'm so excited. Especially I can't wait to see the Aeons whenever I summon them. They'll be pretty sweet. I'm just kind of absorbing all the majesty and beauty right now. So I don't really have much to say right here in the beginning. But sure I'll think of things to say as we continue. I mean, look at the textures just on his hair and the shading quality. Those are pretty sweet. Listen to my story. Listen, I'm gonna play this. it may be our last chance. Final Fantasy X. So 
I'm going to try and keep all my videos maybe about 10 to 15 minutes long. Because I know that longer videos tend to be kind of boring after a while. But I feel like 10 to 15 minutes you can really get some good gameplay out of it and keeps you intrigued and all that. So. Everybody's running. Can you get this creepy kid? Here he is, man of the hour. Titus, Titus, however you like to say it. I'm not partial to one or the other, to be honest. So I know I can go over here and like change his name and what have you. Can you sign this? No problem. I sure can. Golly jeez. I mean. <laughs> no? No? Alright, yeah. I'll change it back. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. I'm good with it. Alright. But I'll probably call him T douche a few times. I'm sorry guys. I just take it easy. I don't know. As far as like protagonists go, I just find him really annoying. Not sure why. Can I have your autograph? Of course. Good luck tonight! Nothing to worry yeah. about. Oh, if I score a goal, I'll uh, do this. Do that this. will mean it was for you, okay? That's ridiculous. <laughs> what seat? He's blocking the front row! It's from the right! Got it. You know what? In the stadium, they aren't exactly labeled well, all of the go. Cheer for like me. sections. So how does he exactly know Three. where the East Block is? He just yeah. had a That's what hey, I want. I got how does he know that? Play. Then teach us after. Maybe tonight. Um, well, you can't tonight. Well, I right. mean tomorrow. Promise. He just goes along with it, like he doesn't realize why he can't do it tonight. I mean, it's not like the little kid's his manager, but he just listened to it and was like, Oh yeah, I can't do it tonight. I mean, obviously he has the game, but what about after the game? I don't know. I just think it's kind of silly. He just goes with it. looking at this cityscape and whatnot kind of reminds me of Star Wars a little bit. Just a little bit. Just like the shaping and the lighting on the buildings. I don't know why, but in the HD editions, I don't know what it is about the eyeballs. The I eyeballs are just weird. Shop, running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, like, Jack, gone. Vanished into thin air. Like in the HD <laughs> for My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all the HD for day. Kingdom Hearts. Like they're Zanara way says worse. To myself, what are you thinking? Way worse than that one. I went but, straight back home. We sat and I feel like they did a better job of making sure they didn't look as creepy in this one. My dad and I never still talked so weird. much. Whoa. I don't know what is wrong with didn't it. mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway, ten years later the Jack Memorial Cup tournament is today. Yeah. The two teams that have won through to the finals are, of course, the Abes from A East and the Duggles from C South. The Duggles. I don't know. That kind of reminds me of Muggles. But, like, Dudley. Dudley Muggles? Duggles? No? Make way! Make way! Wait. Coming through. Sorry. Get out the way. Hey! I'm gonna be late. Hey! Let go of me! There's anybody in the way, loser. Jeez. I think it's funny he does like the running running fast hurry dance. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ah. Yeah.
like the way that the stone statues are. Kind of like not even for Blitzball. It's kind of like that building was there for a different reason, and yet they still wanted to keep their history and architecture, so they left them there. Things pretty sweet. Here we got Oran over here, just freaking total badass. Give that fucker a toast. I mean, come on. He's just sweet. Oh yeah? Get my ball, will you? Douche hammers are out of the stadium. Oh yeah. It's like the citizens are just noticing, oh shit, something's coming. And he's like, yeah, whatever. I got business to do. I've got to send somebody into the future. Stadium just completely ruined. See, I want to know how he survived that. It's like, yeah, there's water underneath him, but how deep is it? You know? If it's like four feet, he's probably got a broken leg right now. I'm just saying. Alright, so. I think I'm going to wrap it up for this episode. I know I didn't exactly get much gameplay in, but I wanted to keep my episode short and all that, so I'll begin again in the next Let's Play. Thanks, guys.